Hello everyone, this is Kevin from SDM Software. So I wanted to share a quick tip, hopefully something fun, interesting, useful. Um, I'm gonna share it in the context of SDM Software's group policy automation engine, um, but it's a pretty generic group uh, PowerShell tip. So you might find it interesting and useful in other areas. So it has to do with outgrid view. And outgrid view, as most of you know, is going to allow you to do something like this. So if I say get process and then pipe that to out grid view, or as some people will type OGV, um, I just get the results in a nice little usable table. Okay, so that by itself is relatively interesting. I could do some searching. Um, I can do some filtering. I can add some criteria. Lots of interesting things I can do here, but there's a cool extra element here without grid view. So imagine I have variable X and I say that's going to equal get process um, out grid view with this pass through little parameter here. So I'm going to go and again dump all the processes out to the grid. I'm going to choose a process and then click OK. Now when I do that, that process is now stored in variable X. So now if I want to look at this entire um, you know, process, I can get a lot of interesting data off of it. I can actually work with it. So very cool. Let's look at that in the context of um, the group policy automation engine. I did this super simple little script here that utilizes out grid view. There's a little alias there, sorry. I tell myself all the time not to use alias. Um, it's also using a variable that was set by R, the STM software's scripting toolkit that comes with the um, group policy automation engine. So this variable, which I'm going to utilize here, GP computer path, is every path that is essentially usable or writable or readable um, in group policy, in this case, the computer side of things. It's actually just reading data from a text file. Um, but it stores that in a variable, so now I can use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new variable called group policy path, or sorry, GP path. It equals the data in this variable, but throw that out to a grid view and go and pass through. And then I'm gonna connect using uh, the GP automation engine to a group policy object. And I am going to grab a container based on the path that you choose in that grid. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna loop through every setting in that container and just list it. I mean, I can do more with it, um, but I just wanna list the names of all of the settings. So essentially what you're doing here is going, choosing some path. In this case, I'm just gonna use administrative templates. Some path and it will find the settings that are available in that path. All right, so let's use this one for example, DNS client. All right, so again, I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna get the grid because I have this cool grid. I can do some searching. DNS, uh, there's that DNS client, that's the one I wanted. So I'm choosing that path, and then I'm gonna go through and loop through each setting, and I'm gonna dump this out to a list. And there we go. So <clears throat> these are the different settings that exist in that container, in that section of, in this case, administrative templates. So how cool is that? You don't necessarily know all of the containers in group policy that you're thinking about, um, that you're trying to build tools around or whatever, but maybe um, if I give you a list, you can pick from that list. Oh, that's right, I wanna look at network. Okay, grab that loop through. What are all the settings in there? We can do a lot more with this, obviously. I can go through each one of the settings and get the values, if they happen to be set or if they're not set. Um, that would be pretty interesting scenario, but that's for another day. So anyway, enjoy outgrid view, pass through something you can play with, and I hope this was helpful.